hot show. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Oh, God, I can't deal with any more kids poking at me. <laughs> Please, you get the kids so I get their dads. Letches don't want me to sit on their laps. I don't much care for the way Santa is gawking at you either. Don't do that. You're too pretty to smoke. Next, you're going to tell me it'll stop my growth. Be nice now. It's Christmas. What's that smell? What do you want? It's the back of a mall. I have a very sensitive nose. Don't walk. Why are you walking? Let's just sit. It's coming from over here. There's something. Probably old hot dogs or a dead cat. No, no, no. Don't touch. Let me. Enough as it is, let's get this done here. Whew. Great. Had to be Santa. You'd think someone who could squeeze up and down chimneys would find the sewer a snap. Rats got to him. The huge bacterial count and seasonably warm weather explains why the rats found him so digestible. He was washed down through the sewer system. I mean, look at all the stuff that's around him. Real, and he's pretty fat, which doesn't make him Santa. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. Uh, three days before Christmas, and somebody kills Santa. I'm, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get an early start. Hey! I'm here to hand give you this. My mailbox was out of order, I take it? The door was unlocked. After, after we talked in the library, I asked around and heard you needed a team. I was hoping that you might consider. I so don't. I was, the department had said that you did, though, so well, I. I don't care what he said. Are you. Are you, are you even a 
grad student? No. So what is your name? It's Chloe Bishop. Samantha Rand. Professor, I guess. <laughs> Look, the, uh, the majority of, of the search is, is back at my house. If you want to come help me go through it. Okay. And if you, uh, if you prove to be helpful, I might consider bringing you on as my TA, maybe. are here already? Uh, yeah, you can send them up. Uh, could you ask me a favor? Could you see if you could find me a plumber? Thank you. Okay, buddy, here's the deal. We get to spend Christmas Day together, but then I gotta take you to Vermont. Understand? Okay. Will you miss Africa? Africa? No. I'd rather spend time with you. <laughs> Do we got a tree? We got two trees. Two trees? Two! Why? All right, come on, I'll show you. Come on. Harrison, you're late again, and frankly, I'm running out of expletives, so here's the deal. I have the night off, and I'm not spending it waiting for you. So, as unfestive as it sounds, you can find me at the lab, catching up on work. I'll be the one cutting out a spleen and pretending it's yours. Next time I talk to you, you better have a damn good reason for standing me up on Christmas Eve. Was that back there? Ad sick. Sicker than he's ever been. I think the tumor's coming back. And now, weirdly, his skin's flaking. Can you tell me if there was anything I could do right? Maybe that already gave us what we need. Are you kidding me? Someone killed Santa? I know. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy, huh? One of those gentlemen from the mall or something. Well, I just came by to grab something, but do you need me to bag personals? No, all he has is a black bag of presents. That's already been processed. Yeah, you know, we're lucky. Typically, the holidays is one of the most violent times of the year, but uh, he's our only fatality brought in. Well, if he's the only dead guy in town, what are the odds St. Nick's gonna open his eyes and whisper a, oh, oh, help me? <laughs> if I sit on your lap, will you give me what I want for Christmas? I don't know, you've been good all year. Are you sure you want to blow it on the last day, huh? I'll be good. I bet you will. Happy holidays. Yeah. Ever seen the back seat of a sleigh? You know, Santa checks his list twice. I know you're very, very naughty. Hello? Santa, my shift's over. <laughs> you know, Santa's not one to keep a girl waiting. I think someone's in trouble. Shouldn't you 
get going, don't you have lots of toys to deliver to good little boys and girls? Out of my house. I'm gonna kill you. Call the police. Please. Police ain't gonna do shit about one whack job phone call. This is Dallas 69. That just calls him back unless there's something you need him to clarify. Polarity says clear cell. You really shouldn't provoke somebody like that. What would you know about dealing with anyone other than your NASCAR daddy? I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, run to daddy. At least my family wants me to come home. You guys, come on. It's like Christmas time. Look, you ever seen this man before? Santa Claus? No, this isn't actually Santa Claus. The guy that's wearing the Santa outfit in this picture. Have you ever seen him? Can I see your ID again, please? Hi, the kid like roaches? We're on Fat Arena, man. Hissing roach. Hey, grab me this container. This is a great pet, man. Perfect Christmas gift. Uh, no, did you find the bird's nest maggots yet? I don't know yet. I'm still looking. Okay, I'm calling the cops. Oh, 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 pal, hey, I am the cops, right? Any, uh, fights out here back in the alley in the past four days? No, I, I don't come out here since I quit smoking. It stinks. The cycle of life, my friend. It's quite beautiful if you get into it. <laughs> I see. Okay, you go back inside, but tell the rest of your staff I'll be in in a few minutes to ask them some questions. Hey, pal. You better hope I don't report this to the health department. Hey, Dirt. Andrew? Did you know that you have four weak points of entry? You're equating Moses to Sam. Ew, no, I mean, what makes you think that he's messing around? What are you gonna do, right? A less than stellar track record when it comes to the fidelity to conclusions until we have proof. Okay, great. We're looking for 223 Hudson. I'm Okay, I think we've shown enough school spirit for one night, so let's just congratulate your stepmom and get the hell out of here. Now's not a great time. What are you doing? Don't judge, support. It's the only way I'll get through tonight. expect to see you take that as an opportunity to answer anyway i mean i i'd say i'm great get my hair my clothes my body but i've actually become a bedford wife and it's really just the worst thing please let me in on whatever scheme everyone seems to be a part of what are you doing in here i thought we had an agreement what? You were never supposed to be in here without me. No, that's not... Sorry, I didn't think it was a problem. I mean, we've been working together. This is ours. Ours? <laughs> that's funny. Was it your money that paid for it? Was it your work? Over long hours? When no one else was interested, I brought this entire operation into existence. This is exhausting. What? I thought we were moving on to something else. What? What were we moving on to? Father and son playing together at the beach. I'm an idiot. I am making you a man! But you don't want that, do you? You want to be a baby. You did it again! You tricked me into thinking you changed, but you know what? I'm done now. What? It would have been better if you just... <laughs> Dad. Dad, I'm sorry. 
That don't. Your dad told me what happened. I know I ruined your party. I get it. I'm a total screw up. Juliet, I don't care about the party. You know, I ruined my fair share of parties drinking too much. True story. But usually when I did it, there was a reason. Juliet, I know something's going on. Please try and talk to me. The other day, when I mentioned Mr. Carpenter. Did something happen between you two? <laughs> 